Okay, now we're going to create some uh, component labels. So this is using the new report generator in C Electrical V8 R2, and it's available in the advanced version. So we're going to go to File, down to Report Generator, and then click on Report Generator. We'll save any changes, and then we'll go to File, and we'll say New Report, and we'll call this Component Labels. So we'll choose our data source, as always, we'll go to perhaps View Components and go to Next. So, just bring this into the area. We've got the report now. As always, we need to select the data member and make sure that's set for the table. That's the first important thing. Um, the next thing, we can actually choose to um, use a wizard to actually create some uh, labels. Right click on the top left hand corner there. Then we're going to go into the design in report wizard and nice and easy we've got this option of label report so we go to next and we can choose the label type so i've got one here this is a uh, avery so i'm going to choose avery and i've got a number on the top 959 and it's 002 on mine so i'm going to use these labels so i'm going to go to next and it's showing me the actual proportions here, the actual sizes. So if you've got something that's slightly different, you can actually make the adjustments here, change the width, horizontal pitch, and the top and the left-hand margin, as well as the page size, of course. You can go back to the previous setting if you find it's not quite right, so you can go back. But once you've set that up and you're happy with that, we can go to Finish, and that's given us the layout on the page. Let's close down this bottom section here. So it's now got, this has been our label area. So what we can do, exactly the same as before, is go into the field list, look at our table, and we can now bring some elements onto this. So on this label report, I'm just gonna put the component name, uh, product 160010. I'm gonna drop that in there. And the next one is gonna be the description, which is 1630. And Let's just move those down a little bit. Let's also put the functional location in there. 1420 and 1450. So I'm just dragging these in as fields. I'm not using a, a table this time. So I want these to be separate. I'm going to select all of those and I think we'll take off on the properties. Take off the border. And as well as that, we'll change the font. Um, Let's put it as a donor, it's nice and close. And let's send to justify it. Text alignment at the bottom, and we'll choose center justified. So uh, on the left, I'm going to make that my description, make it nice and long. And in the center, I'm going to drag this out. And also change the font size, takes this up to about 24. Now, if we do a print preview, Let's see what we've got. So we've now got some nice labels for each of the components. Um, we may find, if we were to order this, that we've actually got the same information multiple times. Now with the component report, you'll get the list of what's in the schematic and what's also in the cabinet layout. So we must remember to go back to the report designer and put a filter in for the circuit diagram. To do that, we can left click on the top left hand corner and we'll see an option there of filter string. Click on the ellipse option, and in there we can click on the plus and put a filter in. So we can say, in this case, we want the page kind, which is 18, 0, 0, 10. And we can leave it as begins with, so that we can just put in there, if we can spell it right, circuit. So anything with circuit, circuit diagram IEC or IEEE, click on OK, and we'll just check the preview. We're now filtering just for that area. So we should find we have a shorter report, fewer elements in it, and we've got no duplication for what's on the actual panel. Um, we can also put an order in there, so on the detailed section, we can click on there and put a sort field, and we can add a field to sort by. So in the group field, field name we now choose the actual component we're going to sort by and in this case the product is 16010 there is a sort field I think um, 
perhaps not in this case so we'll just choose the actual component id 160010 and again just check the print preview and that's now sorted by just the basic name of the component all done so we can close go back to the report designer it's important by the way not to save whilst you're previewing because it will save as a .prnx so just a format of the uh, the printing we must go back to the report designer and click on save there to save the actual changes we can close that down and from now on we can go into component labels and we'll see straight away all of our labels with the functional location information and a description from the component of what we've put in there.